In 2016, I, black woman, was turned away from a hospital as I was giving birth. My son, Jonah Bishop Cowan, lost his life a few days later. I nearly lost mine. Preterm labor is a trauma you can't imagine until you live it. Unfortunately, my story is one of far too many for black women. One of far too many for black women. That's Brooklyn Assemblywoman Rodnice Bishat Hermelin sharing a very traumatic experience. Thanks for staying with us as we talk about women empowering women. And we're pleased to welcome the Assemblywoman back to In Focus. Good to see you. Good to see you, Cheryl. Thank you so much for having me back on the show. You know, it's it's, really honor. the honor is all mine because you have bared your heart and soul with this very traumatic experience concerning black maternal health care. It's an issue that's near and dear to you uh, because of your son who was lost in 2016. Explain for our viewers the disparities in care between white and black mothers. Well, I have to say that it's unfortunate that um, I went through this experience and that I am a statistic. Uh, the disparities between um, black and, and and black women and white women expectant mothers it's 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 a lot um, it's about eight times um, black women who are uh, expectants are likely to lose their um, babies four times as uh, as the rate of a white woman um, and preterm labor is the number two cause of infant mortality in the United States and African Americans have about 2.3 times the infant mortality rate of non-Hispanic whites. Um, black women um, are three times more likely to die from a pregnancy-related uh, cause, and multiple factors contribute to the disparities, um, such as variation in the quality of health care, underlying chronic conditions, structural racism, implicit bias, um, and, you know, uni the United States has one of the highest maternal mortality rates of all developed countries. Yeah. Um, so it's something that it's obviously near and dear to me in my community, um, in our zip code, we have one of the highest rate of mortality, which is uh, why we recently introduced a new clinic with a maternal ward to help women in the community um, not be a statistics yeah. and to provide preventative health care to care for these women and for their future infants. Yeah, and you know, so many applaud you for raising awareness for women who may not know what they're even walking into once they're going through the prenatal care process. In 2020, then Governor Cuomo signed the Jonah Bishot Cowan Law, named for your son, that establishes requirements when an expected mother has concerns about preterm labor. Tell us, I know that center that you just talked about in Brooklyn was born out of that agreement. So talk to us about how you're spreading awareness in your son's name. Yeah, well, you know, I, I have to say that my son did not die in vain. We did not sue. We felt that um, the best thing was to write law to help other women and to save other lives. Um, five, five and a half years ago, as I was going through a preterm trauma a hospital turned me away and it was acceptable you know insurance and, and the cost to keep me at the hospital was more important than the life of myself and my kid um, so um, after having to go to another hospital experiencing delivering a child who did not last long uh, who did not live long um, i decided that you know this was a time to put a stop to it and write a law in his name, where hospitals have to care for those who are experiencing preterm uh, labor risk, and it passed. I was very excited about that. And with that, we have fought for funding to make sure that we open up clinics across New York City, um, doctors and healthcare workers who have cultural competency to care for women of color and understand that pain should not be silent and should not be ignored. 
and give them the tools and the resources to have a successful pregnancy and live. Um, so we carry that forward and we continue to fight for other um, maternal health care packages. I am working around um, not only preterm labor, high-risk pregnancies, but also stillbirth, a bill, cervical in insufficiencies. Um, these are bills that bring light to the unforeseen barriers to healthy pregnancies and provide pre uh, preemptive and re repertory solutions to help save the lives of infants and mothers. We also have a bill that ensures all women um, receive a, a standard care consistent with modern medical capabilities. Um, and again, to eliminate racial disparities. Um, again, currently experienced by black women are about 250% of the rate of white women. And um, other insurance policies to provide coverage for preterm labor hospitalization, home visits to monitor preterm labor patients and counseling. So we're doing a lot around, around this issue. Yeah, and you know, by sharing your personal story, you are saving the lives of women all over this city and this state. Assemblywoman Rodnice Bishat Hermelin, appreciate your time today. Thank you. Time for Thank another you. break.